Happy New Year, everybody, as I have to <coughs> clear my throat. I uh, hope everybody had a great Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate this year into a new year. I hope that um, you had a great time with your families if you chose to uh, be lucky enough to spend um, the holidays with them. Uh, welcome to WWE Unboxing Live number 44. Today we have the... Um, Mattel Retro is a tag team two pack of the NWO Wolf Pack. I have a regular NWO shirt on right now. Um, how's it going, Chad? Angry T Rex, Geo, how are you guys doing? Um, Geo asks about the Site B podcast. So essentially, um, today is going to be WWE Unboxing Live. Um, I hope to get um, Site B up this week. Or next week, the latest, because this week at work is going to be kind of crammed, um, because since Monday, I was out of town on holiday. I took the whole week off. It felt great being with family, um, but I have to make up some work. So um, I might not get it out and done this week, but Site B is recorded. It's about an hour 30. Pretty good first episode. Um, not 100% satisfied with the audio. Um, I'm going to see if I can show this off without like making the audio crap. I have a Rode microphone. It's a shotgun, $250 mic. Uh, the microphone I used to have my set up on my desk was a Shure microphone. It was mostly for like music, uh, but the voiceovers were really crisp. I really liked it. I got this shotgun mic because I wanted to do um, an all-in-one for videos with a camera and also voiceovers. Unfortunately, for voiceovers, it's not the best, but um, I'm looking to probably just sell it off and get another uh, close condenser mic. So hopefully the audio for the next episode will be really great. I'm hoping also my co-host will buy a microphone. We have to guilt trip him into doing that. But uh, yeah, nice to see you, Geo. But Site B, hopefully this week or next week. My hair looks like crap. Um, so yeah, Chad, what's good? Happy New Year to you, buddy. Um, Happy New Year to you, Angry T-Rex. I hope we get some good Jurassic toys. Um, me too. We'll see. Um, Mattel has been cheap with the new line. Yeah. Uh, we talked about that in Site B for sure. But uh, that's good. Your Christmas was good, Angry T-Rex. God bless you too, buddy. Um, so yeah, let's just um, talk about this dude right here. And then I, I just, oh, why I'm late a little bit. The, I wanted to put it at uh, 8.30 Central, not 8.15. So hopefully not too many people were put off by it. But I showered. I'm clean and ready to go. And I set up the ring for the demo of the new guys. So, real quickly, I sold off some dudes. So, I did some WWE Unboxing Lives of... Under no, I did a review of The Undertaker. I think I did a review of Shawn Michaels as well. I sold those Mattel ones, and I got the Hasbro ones. So, these guys are significantly different. Let me just maybe put my hand up in front. Dude, okay, so a lot of people, is just a, a hack or whatever... Um, I'm using right now as my main camera an iPhone. So I have a MacBook. If you have a MacBook or a Mac, you can have a great ecosystem where you can hand off phone calls to your computer and vice versa. Um, so instead of using a webcam or people use like a DSLR cam for their webcam, 
Uh, I'm using my iPhone and it looks freaking amazing. It looks better than like any webcam that I've used ever. So I picked up Shawn Michaels Retro. I think this is Series 4. Uh, really good condition. I think he was 50 bucks. Some of them are going for really worse condition at like 60 to 70, but this guy looks really great. Um, way better than the Shawn Michaels Mattel made. And this is the Hasbro one. That's his action feature. A little bit of swivel, arm movement. His legs do not move, but his head swivels. Really cool figure. Um, pretty sick. And I got Undertaker, the first version. I forget this is series. Maybe this one's series four. There's like two different ones. There's this one and a darker haired one. Um, I went with this one because my coworker, Biff, who's not work, but watching, said that this one looks more like the Undertaker because it's the eyes. So very interesting, Biff. Um, and this guy's pretty sweet. Boom. Um, not a perfect figure. There's like a click there. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. Try to clean up with WD-40 as well as a silicone spray. Didn't work. But the paint on this is immaculate. A lot of the paint for the wrestling figures are um, really worn for the gloves and the gray. On his hand right here, it's a little bit on the fingertips. But a lot of them are really crappy condition. Because, you know, these are 30 years old. So, And then I also picked up Macho Man. Not Macho King. I already have a Macho King. But uh, apparently this is like one of the greatest figures ever made. So I had to get it. And I actually have him on the desk doing a uh, Mega Powers handshake. So, <laughs> hilarious. But those are my pickups. This guy was 10 bucks. Steel. So, you can use gestures in the iPhone too. Animation. Nice. Um, so, I'm going to unbox this. I already unboxed it a little bit just to make sure that you know it wasn't damaged because last time um, it was damaged from Ringside Collectibles. This is, I believe, a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. This is originally, like, I want to say 60 bucks. Let me see here um that wasn't playing right okay cool i have my live stream playing so i can see your guys's uh text so ringside nwo retro four pack originally i think this was 60 70 bucks okay now it's all the way down to 35 but i think originally this was like 60 i got this for like 21 bucks right before christmas so that's the only thing i really bought myself um yeah as a phone Using a phone as a webcam easier than DSLR? I, I, I would think so. But um, this is the mailer also. The mailer is very thin compared to a regular WWE uh, Mattel Retro mailer because they're like like this thick because they have four individual cards. This just has uh, two. So. Uh, there we go. And then bam, there is it out. The mailer, boom. Pretty cool box. Pretty cool box. Actually... I said Wolfpack, but this is not Wolfpack attire. So, hey, I'm in the right attire. Let's go. Pretty sweet. And this is the back. So, Mattel ring. Not a fan. I think the, the Hasbro one's better. And uh, you get all four of the original dudes. Um, the box art is pretty sweet. Big fan of that. So, let's open her up. Boom. Whoa. Oh, it's tape. I wonder why it's a little tight. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Dude, unboxing toys is like the most one of the most joyous things in the world. Besides maybe like having your own kids and stuff. Oh no, something fell on the desk. Okay, so very tight in there. Uh, quality control is getting bad. Oh wow, look at that! They have a uh, paper hmm. to protect maybe the plastic. Quality control is getting bad. A broken wrestling figure. Um, I mean, yeah, this is this is thirty years old. So I mean. The condition that they're in, like these figures are honestly, these are my favorite ones. That's why I buy these and I continue to like unbox them and review them. Um, so, you know, uh, Wrestling Figures Podcast with uh, Cardona and Myers. Um, they do a really good job of like showing off the figs. They buy them new. Um, so this is something that's new is that the figures are um, on this like plastic also encasing the card back so essentially if you go to this back side you see the bottom here they come off and you can put them back in the packaging a lot of people don't like it a lot of people like it um just looking at these guys straight up especially compared to the hasbros um their heads are just so freaking big i thought i was gonna be obsessed with this but uh i'm not really in looking right now i'm not really a fan of that hollywood hogan yeah his face is so freaking huge 
Like, why is it gonna be like that? I'm taking out the packaging. It won't be as reflective, but it looks cool. But like Mattel's biggest issue with the retros is their face is like freaking large, man. So there's the back. Get a little closer, show it off with this wonderful iPhone 15 Pro, <laughs> and uh, non-reflective back there. And then so for the outsiders here, Nash and uh, Hall. Um, I had uh, Diesel Mattel. And I sold it for 50 bucks, and then I had a, that purple razor, and I sold that for 100 bucks. So it pretty much um, paid for this package. But I like the NWO Nash and Hall more than Razor and Diesel. Uh, but I kind of, I mean, the Diesel was Mattel, but I kind of want to get the Razor back. But we're going to take them out of the packaging. We'll do, I love Hollywood Hogan, Hulk Hogan. So we're going to do the outsiders first. Does this slide off? Or how does this work? I don't want to break or anything. Uh, there we go. Well, that was rather easy. So there's your card back. Interesting that they put like a white, like mat or so, on there to pop the figures more maybe. But uh, they come out like individually, I guess, like this. Bam. And then they have uh, right there. Uh, I'm, uh, Mute the mic so the pops don't like hurt anybody's eardrums. All right, I might have got cut. Let's see. No, it's just in the finger. So, ooh, that's very tight. That's nice. So, here is Hall of the Outsiders. Looks pretty cool. Um, shirt on, outsider's attire, uh, his hair is a rubber, which is kind of cool. It looks cool. He looks just like, kind of, like his traps are too big, but I'm assuming he does the razor's edge with that. And then we got Big Kev from Detroit. Pretty cool fig. Does this work together? Yeah, I mean, this head's big, but it does work a little bit, so. Um, he obviously did the Power Bomb. Nearly the same. We will demo them. Um, but his figure himself is a little bit bland, because the attire here is just the shirt, the glasses, and then the pants. I wish it was wrestling attire, but in the spirit of Hasbro, they have, you know, entrance gear. So, they're still pretty cool, and I would not, like, get rid of them. But uh, they got the tattoos there detailing of uh, Hall. Or sorry, Nash. I'm dyslexic. Have you seen any good movies? You saw Killers of the Flower Moon? Um, I did not see that, but I did want to see it. I haven't seen too many movies. I saw Barbie. And it was okay. It was like above average. I wouldn't call it like amazing, but it was, it was, okay. It was good. Okay. Um, I haven't finished Indiana Jones yet. All right, let's look at this guy with the Undertaker and stuff in here. Eh. Yeah, that's all right. That works out. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. So this is the big one, though. Um, I wanted uh, many different um, Hasbro size and scale style figures. Uh, when I was a kid, I wanted Iron Sheik, Kane, and I believe Hollywood Hulk Hogan. So here we are. We have Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I already showed the back a little bit. I think I believe. Did I show the back of these guys? If I didn't. I blacked out and forgot, so let's open this guy up in six. So if this was a four pack and not a tag team, I definitely probably would not even open up six slash X-Pac. I'm sure X-Pac's a nice guy in real life, but um, I just, you know, I'm a minimalist. I've said this a couple times. I try not to buy too much stuff. The fact that I bought this Macho Man, I pretty much did it because of that Wrestling Figures podcast. The fact that I bought this Macho Man is... Um, a little bit of a miracle in itself because I already have a Macho King and that's the one I had when I was a kid. So I really don't need this. And in the future, I might sell it. But this thing looks really cool. And a lot of people have this in their top 10 Macho Man figures. So why not? But like this Shawn Michaels, without a doubt, is amazing. So I would never get rid of that guy. Um, so here we are. I'm going to take him out. I'll mute it so it doesn't pop the mic or hurt anybody's ears.
All right, they're out of the packaging. I really should throw like a live limiter, but um, oh, this is really tight. Holy, s I <sighs> there we go. That's like a freaking NECA figure there. Nah, not that. No, oh, that is pretty tight. All right, you know what? Ah, this does look pretty sick. All right, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're gonna talk about six first, aka X Pac. So X Pac hilariously went from what one, two, three kid in WWF, WWE. <coughs> Excuse me. To leaving to going to WCW to be with the NWO is six, and then going to the WWE again, WF to G DX with Triple H and stuff. And uh, Shawn Michaels was gone by then, but uh, he goes from the click to the click to the click, so that's kind of funny. But there's X Pac six, he has a jumper, um, it's an old school jumper with the uh lever, so I will demo him. He's got very rubbery legs, interesting. But pretty good detailing. It says uh six pack. Six pack. So that was X Pac. Uh -huh. Um yeah, a lot of catching up to do. You gotta watch uh, Oppenheimer. Yeah, me too. Um What else we got? Silent Night. Don't think I heard that. I don't think I've heard I think I heard of Asteroid City, but uh, I had not seen that. So this is the Hulkster. Okay, this figure does look pretty good. Just looking at the back side. So, jacked up, as he should be. You know, head is definitely a little bit big, but uh, we're going to demo him in the ring. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. You got the Hollywood, uh, what is this, a, a weight belt, a weightlifting belt. You got the lightning, of course. That was a sick look with the lightning. And then the NWO in the boots. Of course, the ripped t-shirt in the back and the bandana. Hollywood. That's pretty sick. So the problem with the newer Mattel figures that do this kicking motion, like Shawn Michaels is, I think it's backwards as well, as well as Shinsuke. And the biggest one, problem-wise, forward kicking is Roddy Piper, which I do have. Sometimes they don't, like, click into place and stand. So I'm thinking that might be a potential problem, but um, we should be okay. So I'm going to attempt <laughs> to uh, tilt down on the camera and demo these guys. I'm going to throw this stuff on the floor and then I'm going to make a decision for six X-Pac to see if I want to keep them or not. But uh, I will throw I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just <laughs> I'll demo these guys too. Why not? So I'll have Hogan versus Hogan comparison. So I'll bring this over here. Um, how am I going to do this? I'm going to move the mic to the right, so hopefully the direction isn't too bad. I'm moving the keyboard up, and I'm going to see how much I can tilt down in this MagSafe iPhone stand. I'm just going to do this. This is all wireless, by the way, even though I should have this wired up and charged so it doesn't die, but it should be good. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. Okay. So, let's go with the old guys first, just a demo. Then, uh, yeah, so um, Undertaker here, um, he does just like the clothesline, so pretty cool. He can, you know, obviously do the punch, you can just punch the dude, or you can also the left hand choke slam, pretty sweet. Apparently, the original design is supposed to come with an urn, and he's supposed to hold it, but never came with it. So, fun fact, I suppose. Um, what's your thoughts on the 93 Classic Rex? Um, we actually talk about this in the Site B podcast. Um, I think it's fantastic. And it's a step in the right direction, kind of. Um, I feel like Mattel isn't really going to do much of it anymore, which blows. But uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic toy, especially if you get on sale. So there's Undertaker. Uh, you got Macho Man, Randy Savage. Uh, essentially does the flying elbow drop. So let's just pretend Undertaker's here. And you can pretend we flying elbow drop, so pretty cool. And the attire is pretty great, classic Macho Man. And then we got our Shawn Michaels. He does essentially the same thing. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be an elbow drop too. Not the biggest Shawn Michaels mark, as that probably it went to minus seven, so it wasn't too bad of a click. Um, not the biggest Shawn Michaels mark, so I really don't know if he did like. A, oh, he did do a, a elbow drop just like a Macho. I do remember that. All right, so those are those guys. I'll keep Undertaker here because he's tall. We can just actually just do this right now. Macho, or not showing. Uh, Kevin Nash and Undertaker. I'm going to see if I can somehow, because it is tilted. It might not work very well. 
but uh, before they slide off. Freaking Kevin Nash is taller than Undertaker, which I do think he is um, in real life by like an inch or two, but that looks pretty cool. Remember that uh, phrase I used to say, everybody, play compatible? Hilarious. Uh, so, and then his action feature is essentially a power bomb, so it's like this, but it doesn't really work, I guess, with this. Is it technically supposed to be a power bomb? What's the card say? Outsider's bomb. And then Outsider's Edge. So, they just slam the guy down. Pull back Big Kev's arms. Pull back Hall's arms. Deliver Outsider's Edge. So, yeah, essentially, this is a power bomb. But, I mean, the arms really don't do much. They can do, like, th like a slam like that, action-wise. But, um, out of 10. Oh, you know what? We'll just do out of 10s for these guys. So, out of 10... If he's not effed up, I, this guy has to be like a nine. Incredible. This is a cool thing also. All right, I have to say this because I haven't said it um, in anything really. People in the 90s and before that obviously too, somebody drew a concept of the toy. And then somebody made it out of clay or whatever they did. And then you know they also maybe did like a, a two-up. As they did for these wrestling figures, like a bigger version, and they shrunk it down. Like somebody made these. Like these are art. And like these, like somebody like has like a digital file essentially of a face scan or whatever it is they do now, especially for like the dinosaur toys. And uh, it's like not as art as like these dudes. So um, I want to say a nine out of ten. I wish he had a kick. Instead of the eye elbow, but it's still pretty sick. Let's see if you can like do like a like a super kick. Boom! Um, sweet chin music. Kinda. It's more of like a drop kick. I want to give him an eight or a nine. I'll just give him an eight. Um. So that's pretty sweet. And then him, a nine. Uh, he does have the, the wrist tape molded but not painted, which is weird. So a nine for him. Those are very high scores. I'm a very particular person. This dude. Uh, looks fantastic. Uh, the way it swivels, um, kind of useless, honestly. Uh, he can't. He does one of his signature moves. It's kind of like Hogan right here. He could uh, do a boot, but a um, little disappointing. But I'm gonna give him a seven. I love Kevin Nash. I think he's a pretty cool dude. Um, I'll give him a seven. So that's kind of high, a little bit for him. Uh, so we're gonna test out. We're just gonna test out with like Shawn Michaels. Razor's Edge for the action feature here. So this is not Razor's Edge. Razor's Edge is like, um, he takes the shoulder blades and like pushes it. I don't know if I can really, uh, it's like this essentially. So I don't think his action feature can work either. Oh, yeah, kinda. So. So, eh. it's okay. Um, the likeliness is great. Once again, action feature kind of mid, whatever. Um, maybe a seven as well. Honestly, the action feature for this is better than the action feature for this, but I like, love the look of them. So I'll give the Outsiders a seven. So keeping those dudes, love them. Um, do I want to do six? I got to make a decision, though. And I don't know if I want to make a decision because I don't really know if I want them. But he does look like X-Pac. And so essentially, I have the version of the ring that has the square pegs um some of them have the circles which kind of blows but uh you push down here and he jumps off pretty sweet um pretty much the finn balor finish um that is considered to be for his action feature marketing a six springer all right <clears throat> can't really do a, a bronco buster <laughs> But um, out of 10 for this guy, I, you know, the jumpers suck. What up, Alejandro? The jumpers kind of suck. Um, I don't know, man, like a five. Like, obviously, he is a high flyer, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep him. I might throw him on eBay. I don't know. That's, un that's undecided. But uh, what is about to be decided is Hollywood Hulk Hogan 
is going to give the leg drop. Oh, that's so cool. Both legs articulate here. And then, ooh, leg drop. See, that is effing awesome. Um, I know that there is a new, I don't like the leg the here. Oh, man. Is it considered to be a leg drop or just a kick? Drop the two sweet stomp is what it says. So, I kind of wish they were just articulated without the action feature. I kind of wish it was just like a punch. Like, you just like pull back this arm and he punches forward. Um, kind of like this, but with articulated legs. That'd be kind of cool. Um, thoughts on the Hammond Collection Car Tours? I'm actually talking about that in the first episode of Site B. Um, it's like about the quarter of the way through. It's a big topic we talk about. Um, so this is not center, kind of bothering my OCD. Um, it's a big topic. Um, we, we will talk about it and review it there. But it's a pretty good figure. Um, I don't have any of the Mattel Jurassic stuff, but I do review it there. And I do have it in my hands when we talk about it. It's pretty sweet. It is a good figure. If you're uh, on the fence about it, I'd say get it. So I do like the light... The legs are articulating, but I wish this uh, kicking one was just an articulating one. But we're now going to compare him to Hulk Hogan side by side. And you're going to see the difference of the Hasbro head sizes and the Mattel ones. And it's just a huge difference. So big. So. But man, this Hulk Hogan, like the head sculpt, it's very good. It's very good. The podcast Geo will be on both um, YouTube and everywhere else uh, for like listening purposes. So you can listen on Spotify and Apple and all that stuff. Um, audio only. The video one will be on YouTube. So you, if you want to watch the version with the you know video, it'll be on YouTube itself. Um, this figure, my favorite toy, one of my favorite toys of all time. But yeah, it doesn't really look much like Hulk Hogan compared to this one. So that's actually quite impressive. But uh, just like body types, it's almost the same as arms are way beefier on the Mattel. But the chest is almost the same. The chest might even be bigger on the Hasbro. Maybe a little bit... No, the depth on the Mattel one's pretty big. You can't really tell there, but... Yeah, Site B Alejandro, I hope, is um, the end of this week or next week. I have a lot of work stuff I have to like um, finish and catch up on because I took extra Christmas off. Um, so, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, what do I think of this guy? I'm going to give Hogan, Hollywood Hogan here. I can't be super biased. I'm going to give him an 8. I can't give him a 9. I just can't do it. Looks fantastic, but I think the leg takes away a 9. I think it really does. But let me see if I can just start punching Shawn Michaels or something. Because even when I'm holding him here, like if a kid's holding it, like that leg just popped up by itself. And it's kind of annoying. I mean, maybe kids don't care. But like, yeah, if you're just like here, like, like punching him, like the leg is kicked out again. So I think an eight. Maybe even a seven. This is getting really annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to my uh, freaking permanently glue it. But you can't because got to have that leg drop. Yeah, I'm going to give him an 8. I'll give him an 8 because I just, I freaking love Hogan, so I can't do, I can't do a 7. I'm going to do a 7, screw it. I'm giving him a 7. The leg, the leg's annoying as hell. That's a stupid decision. So, I got to figure out um, if I want to sell X-Pac or not. Um, put the ring away. Greatest ring of all time, right here. Greatest wrestling figures of all time right here so I don't know if that's a little crooked fix it there you go yeah looks kind of worse yeah well I'll answer some more questions then uh head off let me move the microphone back center yeah, definitely gotta sell this thing okay so more centered better audio hopefully uh Godzilla minus one it's a masterpiece how do you know that is that already out Hold on, is that, is, there's no way it's already out. Godzilla minus one. It's got 98%. Really? 
Oh, oh, I'm thinking of God, the new Godzilla Kong movie. Oh, yeah, I didn't see Godzilla minus one, but I really want to. I think I saw that it broke the Jap or the record for like the highest grossing Japanese Godzilla movie, which is insane. Um, but yeah, I really uh, the Flash. I, I saw the Flash. I think I might have tweeted about it. Maybe I didn't. Uh, Flash was supposed to be the greatest freaking superhero movie of all time. And because uh, it kept on hyping up, or Warner Brothers was telling people it was amazing, blah blah blah. So you had all these people talking about it, word of mouth, it was amazing, blah blah blah. It wasn't that great? It was goodish, but it also felt like really weird script wise, like all the beats and like the action sequences. There was like really nothing in the middle. They kind of slid it to like two thirds. Um, kind of odd, but yeah, the Flash is kind of eh. Uh, Meg Two saw that movie. Um, that movie kind of was, eh, what did I give that on IMDb? Meg 1 was a pretty damn good movie. What did I give the first Meg? I think like an 8. I'm going to look it up. The Meg. And then the Meg 2. So the original Meg, I gave a 7, which is kind of a high score. And the Meg 2, I gave a 5. So, um, what did I give Barbie? Like a 6? Excuse me. Six for Barbie. Um, what else? Uh, what I give the Flash? The Flash, I gave a seven. All right. Um, the MonsterVerse. Yeah, has anybody watched the Apple TV uh, show? Because I haven't. I've heard kind of mixed things about it. Do you like the Lego Avengers sets? Um. I think I saw the, let's look up the Avenger, Lego Avengers, the collector's set, the um, the tower, I don't know, it's 500 bucks, oh my god, dude, you know what, I'm not going to lie to you, I did go into the Lego store the other day, can I put this on cam, let me look, let me see if I can, uh, uh, studio mode, and then... Yeah, let me give me one second, guys. I'm gonna move this over so you can see too. Okay, let me. Okay, there you go. Now I can see Lego. Okay, five hundred bucks, dude. Five hundred bucks, but it's five thousand pieces, and it's really big. Is this Ultron or is it the original Avengers? This little. Alien ship. I think it's original Avengers. Great film. Oh, well, here it is. This is original Avengers right here. Um, very tiny ship. But cool Hulk minifig. And that guy's having a time of his life. Yeah, there's a little, little smallish kind of compartments, but and I, it's probably a hundred bucks too much. Than what I would say to um, buy it, but man, that is a, that's a sick set. I saw a. Um, can you just look for like collector ones? Age, price ranges. Um, age. I don't know. What's eighteen and up? <laughs> okay, maybe this is one. Oh, there's a Polaroid one. Huh. Natural History Museum. Dude, I gotta look at that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Titanic. Huh. Disney Castle for 400 That's not too bad. Pac-Man. That's kind of stupid. That's kind of dumb to have. Because you rather would play it. Spider-Man Mask. Tranquil Garden. Uh, Bonsai Tree. Here it is. This is the one I want to talk about. The Batcave. Eiffel Tower. 630 bucks. I want to look at this Natural History Museum. How much is this? $300 and it's that small? I know it's two floors, but it's kind of tiny for 300 bucks, man. Oh, you can put it with this other crap here. Mm. All right, well, there's that. Icons, $300. I'll look at the back cave here in a sec. Hogwarts for 170. That looks bigger than it is, I feel. Um, Lord of the Rings for 500. That looks 
like a decent sized set. This honestly, like some of the stuff, especially this Batman uh, Batcave here, it honestly kind of makes me want to get back into. Um, I kind of look at that one. It kind of makes me want to get back the office back into Lego because Lego's gotten so cheap. Home Alone, holy smokes, it's great. They got so cheap since like 2015. Um, my cousin bought this for his dentistry, and he has that on the wall. It's kind of funny. Little Mermaid, that's pretty good. Clam show. Motorized Lighthouse, Fortnite, <laughs> The Spice Girls, very nice. Walt Disney. 230 for an X-Wing. The biggest problem with the collector um, vehicles is that, I don't know, is this in scale? I feel like it's too big. I feel like so, the collector's stuff is too, like the bat kit mobiles and stuff. This might be to scale. I might be wrong. That looks about right. That looks about right. Um, the Office. That is funny as hell. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. The conference room. Michael's office. Uh, Pam's desk, and then you got Creed and them all over here. And 120 bucks, that's not too bad. Um, this isn't really supposed to be like the Polar Express, but... If my grandpa was still here, you'd probably like that. It's kind of cool. Treehouse, that's kind of cool. Pyramid. Land Rover, really. Jazz Club, that's kind of cool. Look that up. Ah, that's kind of cool. I like that. How much is that? Two hundred bucks. Two twenty nine. You don't have to charge that much. You can charge two hundred. This looks freaking dope. This castle. Spider Man. Another Hogwarts one. This one's triple the price, but also looks double the size. So that one looks cool as hell. 850 for the Millennium Falcon. I remember everybody buying that when it came out. Yeah, this one looks so cool. This looks like a James Bond set. That's yeah, pretty sweet. Mando hat on a gauntlet. 850 for an AT AT. Oof. Hogwarts train. Five hundred dollars for the Hogwarts train. Woof. Daily bugle. 350. If you're a big Spider Man fan, why not? You can have it across the street from the Avengers Tower. Opti I am Optimus Prime. Yeah, this is kind of a eh set. Don't worry, I'll go back to the questions here in a second. Actually, I'll just go back to the questions here now. I can maybe open up a new uh, window with the questions so I don't miss out on anything. My brother in Christ, Lego's got more expensive than 2015. Yes, it has. You are not lying. Um, you got to make sure you get the deals out. Yep. <clears throat> Japanese cinema is going stronger during the summer releases. That's good. That's good. Um, Legacy of Monsters. That's the show. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, what else we got here? The Visitor Center. Yeah. What's up, Cosmonaut? What's good, bro? Um, Talk to Me was your favorite movie. Is that the... Jennifer Lawrence movie? I forget what Talk to Me was. Um, you have the giant Hulkbuster. Nice. Um, yeah, this set, 100 bucks. I wish this came with a T-Rex minifig rather than that T-Rex. That would have been a huge difference, I feel. Because I feel like this set really lacks without that. I really feel like that ruins it. Oh, what's up, Carlos? What's going on, buddy? Um, hmm, mm -hmm. Ghostbusters, nice. Yeah, I feel like this thing, I don't know, I could be wrong. Oh yeah, Temple of Doom. Or no, sorry, yeah, it's Temple of Doom. Right there, that's a six set. I feel like I could be wrong, but I feel like this is way too freaking big. I could be wrong, though. Maybe I am wrong. This cockpit looks like it's, uh... Yeah, it has been a while, Carlos. What's up, man? The cockpit does look like it's the right size. So, what was 40 or 50 bucks, Gio? You have to tell me again on that. I don't know. I don't. I kind of want this, but I kind of don't. 
I think the problem with this is that minifig doesn't really... Oh, I guess the minifig is supposed to be uh, Heath Ledger. Because that's supposed to be Dark Knight Christian Bale, I believe. I don't know, 270 bucks though. Yuck. But it's freaking cool. The Rex Breakout set was 40 or 50 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. This Andor set's pretty cool, but 80 bucks. Yeah. Yikes. Um, Razor Crest, 600. Emperor's Throne, 100 bucks. 800. Sorry, 800 bucks. 100 bucks for 800 pieces. That should be 80 bucks. All right, let's go to the back cave. 4,000 almost pieces, 400 bucks. This thing, in person, I saw it. Incredible. Uh, I got two different, I guess, Batman, uh, Penguin. I believe this is supposed to be because the car style. Batman, 89. Um, also the font here and the logo. But look how big this thing is. It's a legit big-ass bat cave. So cool. So the swap meets have changed you. You're hunting deals on. You never play full price all the time. Dude, good for you. Good for you. Dagobah, 90 bucks. Eh, 1,000 pieces, though. Singapore, interesting. Let's see, a, col a roller coaster? I wonder if that actually works. I bet it does. Now, here's the one I, I feel like is definitely too big, is this land speeder. Maybe the White House. That thing's definitely way too big, right? Or maybe it's just the size of the action figures. And, uh... No, it's, I feel like it is too big. So there's one vehicle I feel like I might be right on. Mos Eisley, 400 bucks, 3,000 pieces not a bad set this is kind of a cool building is that Dr. Strange's building I feel like it is because of that window and there's also Dr. Strange at the bottom 250 temporarily unavailable Coliseum that looks pretty sweet but also kind of small two more pages of collectors and we'll be done we can also look at Jurassic Park real quick uh because those sets were kind of disappointing. Trash compactor diorama, nice. Table football, pretty cool. Real Madrid Stadium. Police station. All right, one more. Uh, yeah, and that's very tiny diorama. I believe I saw that also at like Kohl's. All right, we're going to search Jurassic Park. I'm just going to search Jurassic. So we have, oh, that's cool. That's actually Jurassic World. I don't think I ever saw it before. Seen all this stuff. Like 20 bucks for that set is kind of expensive. Like 15 is probably better. Um, like the prices on these, like 80 bucks for like this, a Brachiosaurus, a train, a Jeep. That should have been like 50 to 70. 130 for this, that should have been 100. That should have been like 120 max. That should have been like 40 bucks. Like, if you look also, like these sets kind of suck. Like, this is the most playable thing. That's kind of playable. That's kind of playable. But the rest of it's just like a minifig of a human, a dinosaur, and like a thing. So the tree is a thing. The uh, explorer, like one thing. Like, you know. Kind of just uninspired. Even 2015's Lego sets are kind of eh. But these ones are just like, ugh. Uh, there, oh my gosh, that says retired product. I mean, I remember the days where I bought this stuff and reviewed it, and even then I was like disappointed in these things. But the gyrosphere for Legos were really cool. Do you want that Mos Eisley set? It's the 300 bucks out of your league. Well, I don't know what your job is if you have one, Geo, but you can just maybe save up. I keep on showing off this tab of this uh, guy I want to watch this video of. Let's see about the microphones, I'm trying to like review them and stuff, trying to find out the best one. I'm just gonna click show all. What else we got? Uh, Donus versus Ankylosaurus. Is this supposed to be for the first movie or is this supposed to be for something else? It's supposed to be from uh, the first movie. That's a new set. 
though. That was what, last year, I think? Baryonyx. The Treasure Hunt. What the hell is that supposed to be from? I don't even know. Bulbasaurus and Loose. I think that's supposed to be from Camp Cretaceous. I got that from Lego for free. I kind of should have just kept it. That would be kind of a cool set to keep. Not the biggest fan of the movie, but the movie also doesn't really suck. I, I was kind of disappointed by it, but I kind of appreciate it more. I honestly think it's like the best one of all the new three movies. It's just really ballsy. The first movie what should have been like better. It was good. I feel like it should have been more risk taking like that second one. Um, maybe they were told not to do it because uh, they try to want to make a bigger hit. Here's another one I want to talk about is that one. I'll talk about this one too. This one's very disappointing because it's so tiny. It was like 30, 50 bucks for just this. It's insane. Personally, I think that 2015 Lego sets are most playable, somewhat affordable. Yeah, I agree with that. This is just another one. Like, the T Rex is freaking monstrous. The gate, I do believe, is in scale. You get a nice amount of minifigs. Oh, that's cool. There's like crap behind the gate. Is that a toilet? <laughs> it's supposed to be other stuff like a uh, bunk. I don't know if that's supposed to be an embryo lab or not. I think that's supposed to be the control room. Kind of weird. Stupid Rex. Um, mini figs. Not bad. But I think it's 250 It's gone now, but... All right. Um, back over to... Uh, the cam... Switch. All right, back over out of studio mode. Um, what did I miss on question wise? Um, biggest regret uh, is buying the 2015 Hasbro figures, not investing in Lego sets. That's another thing that's interesting about Lego. Um, some of the sets you really can't like predict what's going to blow up or not. But if you have a set and you don't open it up, I think most of the big ones, like the $130 items or so, I think those within like say five years plus, maybe like older, those blow up and maybe double, maybe more. Depends on the popularity of the item. But uh, nice bun. You mean this? My hair? Yeah, it's crap. I think that's what you're talking about. <laughs> um, believe is. Believe physical media aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Um, as, ironically, I saw FlickPick posted that um, Best Buy got rid of it or they're starting to get rid of it today. So that's kind of sad. But I don't know. I feel that um, it might make a comeback, but physical media for mu uh, music has for records. But, you know. I'll probably head off soon here. It's been almost an hour. So I'm sure, sure the lady wants to watch some TV in the living room because this is the dining room technically. Um, yeah. Nice bun. <laughs> what else did I miss out on? I feel like I missed out on one or two things from everybody. Um, but yeah, clearance Lego... Um, I would buy, like, ah, oh, what the hell is it? It was U-Wing. What was the vehicle from Rogue One? I, bought, I waited and got that on clearance, like, for at least 20 bucks off, and that was worth it. But then I ended up selling it. So, is what it is. Nope, I did not see Godzilla. It was out in December, but I haven't really been to, like, the movies much. I kind of just wait for them to come on streaming, because we have, like, all the streaming sites or, um, logins and accounts, so... That's why I saw Barbie, I saw it on HBO Max, saw Flash on HBO Max, HBO Max, or now it's just called Max. Um, that one is pretty much 
my favorite one because they post most of the new films out there. You don't really see much of them on like Hulu and stuff. At least good ones, I feel. Um, so, as I'm fidgeting, I'm shaking the camera. Uh, da, da, Christmas is still in the night, I guess. All right, I think I caught up on everything. Uh, yeah, did great. Um, be sure to play Lost World Things on Stipey Streaming. Yeah, so... Ooh, Albert, what's up, buddy? Um... Be sure to play the Lost World Thieves. So the thing is, I did uh, have a cut of the intro because people use music for podcasts. Um, I did have a cut of the intro that included John Williams' music, but of course it gets copyright strike, so I'm not using that. I'm using something similar, though, so hopefully you like it, Alejandro. But NWO Hogan or NWO uh, Wolfpack, I don't have... There is just... Okay, where, where are you? They don't have a red version Wolfpack figure, unless you're acting, asking about in real life, Albert. Um, I don't know. I have to watch more Wolfpack Hogan. Um, so I think that's what your question is. But I want, I asked the, the lady for a Wolfpack shirt, just to have like a red one. I think uh, if you're still here, do you like the logo or the Wolf one shirt? But yeah, there's the fig if you missed out on it. I don't know if you can rewind. I think you can, but it'll be archived in like five minutes. So, um, that's the first movie that you think the first movie that the trilogy was the best. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, it it was good. It was very enjoyable. Um, it was solid. Hollywood, Holly Wolf, <laughs> for life. Um, how much for your bull rex? Uh, I am not selling it, Carlos. Also, that's loose in the box. Damn that like. My apartment is insane. Like, my windows are not open. We can hear that clear as day, some redneck. So that's also loose in the box. And then, of course, eh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm like a weatherman. Ah, mother of God. This is also loose in the box. Um, so, yeah. They're not new. The Bull Rex, Carlos, um was my original Burwex when I was a kid, the toy itself, but not the box. I rebought the box for like, I don't know, it was 40 to 60 bucks in like 2015. It was loose. Not in the greatest condition, but I kind of restored it and made it like better. So, sick figure. Absolutely great. No, I'm not selling it at all, Carlos. No price at all, buddy. You cannot pry that from my hands. You can't pry. I mean, that I might buy a better version because that's not my original one. And now there is the Young Rex over here. I sold my original Young Rex because my cat chewed out the tail. And that one's in way better condition. But the bull's never going anywhere. Never. Never. So 2023, you had a good year. You managed to snag half a counter jungle explorer. Mm, for five bucks. Two million? I won't even sell it for two million. Would not sell it for two million, Carlos. Plus, you don't even have two million, Carlos. What are you talking about? JP McDonald's cups, dude. Hell yeah. JP McDonald's cups. I had like two of them. Um, and I think they're like got cracked and stuff. So my mom threw them out. But it lasted a long time. But those cups, dude, the art in those cups are so sick. All right, I'm going to end this in like um, within five minutes for sure. Maybe like two minutes. Two sandwiches. Two sandwiches of what? Two sandwiches. Um,. And you got a couple of Kenner humans along with a two, uh, two mint figures. Very nice. I got um, I got the Lost World Trike on card. Not in good condition. And then I got the Pachycephalosaurus Lost World Loose from Nick. Um, Carlos. Uh, what else did I get retro-wise? I got the, Tyron the giant Pteranodon with the box. I think that might be it. You got three cups. That's pretty cool. What uh, art ones did you get? I think I had... I'm not sure if I had the T-Rex. Which ones did I have? I think I might have had like Gallimimus or Blophosaurus or somebody. But I think I had the T-Rex. I don't know 100% for sure. But you don't know for sure, Mr. Mayor. Godzilla, 98. Um, you still believe... This is a good last question topic. Um, you still believe, Alejandro, we can get the Hammond Collection Bull Rex... Um, 
they can change the tone of green or some color to not waste the sculpt. Um, do I personally think, I think I've already answered this like two streams ago, like last year maybe or so. Uh, do I personally think that the HC Bullrex is like dead and we're never going to get it again? I think that might be, oh snap, we got a little uh, Smackdown uh, notification saying I got a subscriber randomly. <clears throat> What's up, Johnny Hardwood? Um, I don't think that thing's dead. I think they'll bring it back like a year or two. I don't know. But who knows? Um, maybe also I feel like they would, uh, I don't know if they change the color or anything. I believe they would at least bring back the feet and then do like another Hammond Collection Rex maybe in the future. But I feel like that one's not selling. I don't know why. It's a pretty good figure. Not great, but pretty great. Kind of a paradox, but you scored a Kenner Young Rex in Minton box for fifty cents or for fifty dollars. I was like, "What the hell, fifty cents, Ray? That's a freaking steal." Pretending, I was thinking over to hide my excitement when the guy told the price. There you go. Yeah, dude, this um, wrong way again. Damn cameraman style, man. Yeah, that thing is like absolutely incredible. It's so cool. I'll bring it in. I need to like start dusting some stuff more. And I don't know if the box is faded or not. Because it doesn't look like pure red, but like this is like pure art. I wish the alert box would go away. Like, gosh darn. I'm just going to turn it off. No, I'm just going to on. Shout out to Johnny Hardwood the rest of the way. <laughs> like, this is just so freaking amazing. 50 bucks? That's an absolute steal. Absolute steal. Like, this thing, like, I don't know why we can't get this anymore. Like, just immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. <sighs> That's a. Pretty much a 10 out of 10 toy. 10 out of 10 toy. Yeah, I'd be excited too for 50 bucks. I don't know how much I paid for that on eBay. It might have been like 50. I don't know. But, uh, all right. We have less than two minutes to go. So I will um, wish everybody Happy New Year for sure. Um, everyone can go back to their lives. Uh, hi to my mom if she watches this on uh, archive. Sometimes she does, or my sister would put it on. My dog or her dog would be at home and she'd be at work or something. She'd just put my videos on so she can calm down. I don't know. But uh, hello <laughs> uh, to everybody on the archive. Uh, that was pretty cool talking about Legos and wrestling figures. Um, I haven't made a decision to sell this guy. I think I might have. I think I'm going to try. Yeah. I think I'm going to try. You look tired, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a little, a little tired. I am an adult. Carlos, how old are you? You, you have to uh, grow up uh, sooner or later and get tired yourself. You got two young Rexes, both in the greatest condition. Yeah, dude, that's Chad, if that's your real name. Uh, yeah, if you have that toy in a great condition, like, it's the coolest freaking thing. It's so dope. It's such a great toy. Um, yeah, so I also announced besides saying Happy New Year, everybody is sipey hopefully first episode podcast will be you're 21 yeah you just wait i'm like 10 years older than you um sipey first episode hopefully within a few days if not like next week um all i have to do is kind of record like an outro watch it all make sure it's flawless no glitches and uh we're good so you surprised you, you surprised me of you picking a song I don't know. I can't really see the rest of it because there's like a heart blocking Alejandro, the rest of your uh, chat box. So, uh, yeah. I don't know why the alert box is all like glitched and like hasn't gone away. Kind of weird. Also, I feel like it should be like, like maybe bigger. Like maybe like that. Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe. That looks kind of better, I guess. Huh? That looks more like a SmackDown graphic that I made. But, um, yeah, so, Carlos, um, the podcast for the first episode we have recorded, it's just Nick and I. Justin didn't want to do it. It was He, he couldn't do it because of work or something. I don't know, whatever. Um, we also tried to get Jay Jurassic on, uh, but he was unavailable. He does a lot of tattooing. So he was unavailable to record. So for the first episode, it was just Nick and I. Uh, we hope to um, have Justin, Jay Jurassic, guests from whoever, all over. Um, we're talking about all kinds of topics, but mostly it's Jurassic Park toys. So, uh, yeah. Happy New Year to you, Chad. Um, Happy New Year to everyone else. Um, 
Yeah, so that's your answer, Carlos. Alejandro, you still have your HC Parasaur and Baronax. I sold mine, but uh, hopefully, Alejandro, you have a uh, happy new year, buddy. And uh, we're going to end this at one hour, one minute, and 26 seconds. So kind of screw up the intro a little bit, which is weird, but um, that's okay. Anyways, happy new year, everybody. Now the wife can watch her TV and not be mad. So uh, catch you guys later. Be on the lookout for Site B. And uh, Godspeed, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Have a happy and great.